Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another FIFA 20 video and the JRPZ channel. Welcome back to a little new mini series. The League SBC method, the League SBC to glory, whatever you want to call it. This is a series, it's very popular. Obviously, a lot of people know about the League SBC method. A lot of people don't know. It's basically where you turn bronze unusable cards into that end card, that 88 rated by completing loads of different teams in the League SBC section. Um, and this series, I, the main thing with this series that I want to do is I want to teach you guys. I want to teach you guys what it is, how to do it, prove to you guys that it does work if you do it efficiently, if you put the time in, if you've got the patience, if you put in the hard work and the grind. Hopefully you guys can also start getting into this method following for FIFA 20 and obviously um, help you guys pack some amazing things and also carry it forward to FIFA 21 because the concept will stay the same um, as long as EA don't make any massive changes. With that being said, make sure to smash a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and join Team Bowser. Can we get, I don't know, I don't know, how many likes should we set? I don't know. Let's get 25 likes. Let's get 25 likes for the League SBC to glory. Now with this series, what I'm planning to do is it is going to be a mini series. I'm not going to keep it running for like 50 to 60 episodes. It's more just a mini series to show you guys that from nothing you can get something. And it's just giving you guys the instructions, the information. And obviously, if you guys leave questions in the comments, then we can obviously go through that as well. All right, boys. So what I wanted to show you guys is the main aim of this little series that I'm doing for you guys. So you can see here, I've got one player to claim, which is the CSL Reward SBC2, right? Now we're going to claim this card and this is the Chinese Super League. So the Chinese League, this is the end goal that you want. This is what this series to teach you. So this goal right here. So this Leonardo 88 rated player, when you complete a League SBC, you will get a chance to get an 87 or an 88 rated card right at the end of it, a special card. This guy's from the Chinese League. It's a decent card, nice looking card, all that good stuff. Right, so he's going to go into the club. So I've just completed the CSL today. Now, with the first series, as you can see, I've got 23,000 coins at the moment. Now, I am going to do this on my main account because I don't think that I should open a brand new account and start from absolutely nothing. It's just going to take too much time. This is a mini series that I'm keeping for you guys, just more informative rather than just an actual series. I don't, I don't really plan to do it as like a mad long series. It's just going to be like, I don't know how many episodes. I don't know yet. Maybe I, get, I have fun with it and then we go long. I don't know. But the first thing, the first episode is going to start with is the famous bronze pack method and this uh, this episode and the first a couple episodes most of it is going to be very boring most of it is going to be your bronze pack method where you make coins now what we're planning to do is if you're starting this straight off the bat we actually get very lucky in our first bronze pack because one we hit a chinese league player a csl player now what we're going to do is for starters if you're starting this straight from the bat you want to start with just one league, and that is the CSL. Now, the reason being is they have the most bronze and silver based teams, so you can pack a lot of the cards by a bronze pack method. Now, what you're going to do with everything else is you're going to sell it. Now, the reason you're going to sell it is because you want to build up your coin balance ASAP. So I am going to be listing everything at, on this account, except every single player we're going to list, except for managers, if, unless if they don't sell. So if a manager doesn't sell, I'll most likely get rid of it. I would advise you guys to list them up just because um, sometimes you can get lucky and they do sell. All of these cards. Now, obviously, the club badges and, the, and these um, kits, most of them don't sell. You can always check the price. You never know. You might get a sale here and there. You might get lucky. Squad fitnesses, obviously, definitely going to list up. And right now, it's, it is um, foot champs going on as I'm recording this. So we're going to list this up for 1.3. Get that sold straight away. Dribbling attribute card, I'll list up for 200 coins. See if that sells. Contracts don't really sell, so I'm just going to discard those. Fitness cards, I'll always list them up. Now, fitness cards, what I tend to do is list them up for 150 and 5,000 max price. Now, the reason being is a lot of people on the web app accidentally purchase these cards for 5k a lot of people have done it before i think i've done it before pre um previously so um yeah it, 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 it's just a good way to get coins sometimes they go for 150 sometimes you get lucky and what we're going to do is we're going to list every single thing up now what i'm going to do is i'm going to list up everything up uh, until the trade pile sells until the trade pile fills up sorry uh this manager card i'm checking his price at the moment he's not going for anything I'm going to still list him up just so that we can get everything on the trade pile. Now, as this is my main account, I've also got other things on the trade pile from obviously doing 
things that I've been doing on my main account. Now, this player right here, he is from the CSL. So, he's going to store. We are going to store him in the club. Now, this first episode, we're just going to be talking about the simple things that you should be doing. And as you can see, something is already sold. We'll go to the transfer market right at the end of the video. And um, again, like I said, every single bronze pack I open for this method, I will also do some on my live stream as well. So make sure to check me out on live stream because we do live stream on YouTube. Um, so yeah, if you are starting out with this method and you don't really know what to do, I've started off with 20, 21,000 coins uh, or 20 or 23,000 coins, I think it was. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically just sell everything and just build up our club, build up the bronze players in the club, build up the si like silver players in the club. And once we start to do that, then we can actually move on to the SPC. Now, quick little disclaimer for you guys, because a lot of people always question, like, is this, is it long? Is it like, yes, this is right here. This is long, boys. This is a grind. It is very hard in terms of right at the beginning when you're starting off. Um, it is a grind. I'll be completely honest with you. It is a grind. You will see, like, you will see um, a lot of people kind of give up with this method right at the beginning thinking this is too long it doesn't work when you open bronze packs the main aim of the thing is not to get uh, instant coins straight away the main aim is to build up your coin balance slowly slowly whilst building up players in your club now what we're going to do for starters is we're going to save every single csl player and send all the other players on the transfer list and list everything else that way you're still getting some co coins coming in Whilst things are selling, also you can focus on that one league SBC. And at the as you uh, as I mentioned at the start of the video, when you saw that CSL player, that's the main goal. Because once you start doing the league SBC method, you'll start to realize it's like a cycle. Like you'll get loads of bronze players. You'll pack. You'll get loads of packs when you complete the squads. Then when you complete the squads, those packs will give you loads of other league SBC players. And once you start doing that, rinsing and repeating, what you can do is use those league SBC players that you're in your club. You can start building towards other leagues like major leagues and uh, um, other minor leagues as well and that's basically the main aim of this series so what you do is just start opening bronze pack uh dedicate as much coins as you have you have to dedicate a lot of time to this as well what we're going to basically be doing this is my main account so what we're going to basically be doing is just basically every hour recycling and just relisting everything so everything that sells sells great everything that doesn't sell doesn't sell that's great so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill up my trade pile at the moment with everything that we get in packs now i will get a lot of duplicate cards for the time being because my club obviously is quite stacked in terms of this is my main account i've been playing fifa 20 on this account so i have a lot of bronze duplicates you guys won't have a lot of duplicates if you're starting this and you haven't done this ever before um so the main aim of this is to fill up your trade pile with bronze players and then wait for them to sell and if they do sell great if they don't sell it doesn't matter all you do is literally just list again list again list again and just be patient with it now with the league sbc grind you lot know that it is a very very long uh it's a long grind it's not gonna happen straight away for you You're, we're not gonna go in the first two episodes and start completing this csl it's not gonna work like that what you need to do is you need to build up the foundation of bronze players in your clubs once you start building the foundations of the CSL, then you can start to say, like, for example, my cutoff point usually, when I have seven players from one club, as long as, the, as long as the players are not too expensive, then I complete the thing. I complete the, um, the SBC. So, for example, this guy we've already got in the club. If you got this guy as, an, as a non-duplicate, obviously you'd keep him. I'm going to list him up because I'm going to list him up. I already have him as a duplicate. We're going to list everything. Any, um, Usually, I tend to list things two to three times. If they sell, they sell. If they don't sell, then I just store it in the club. That's what I tend to do. Now, there are a lot of things where people are confused. When they have all these dead league uh, bronze cards, what to do with them? Now, if you're solely in this for making coins, you can just list everything. And if they doesn't sell after like 10 times of listing, just get rid of it. If you're in this for the league SBC stuff, then what I would recommend is I would recommend um, putting them towards bronze upgrades. Now, when I say putting them towards bronze upgrades, it's basically you put 11 unusable cards and you put it towards a silver a, a silver two-player pack, basically. So you can so from there you can basically hope for the chance that you pack CSL players. Now this is what we're doing at the moment. We're only building the CSL. Any other cards that we get. So right now we've just hit Jimmy Garner, a Man United card, which is going to be very nice because he's going to sell for around 
six to seven, eight hundred coins, which is very nice. I'm gonna list them up for seven hundred. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to list cards up for cheaper than what they're going for, just so I can guarantee the coins that I get. Now, this Suda Americana card, I'm gonna list them up for six hundred coins. He'll sell again as well. Contracts we get rid of. These cards never sell. This card never sells. Everything else. So this is the kind of stuff that I discard. Contracts, manager contracts, I wouldn't discard because manager, manager contracts do have a chance to sell. I always list them up for 200 because they do always have a chance to sell. Um, but the rest, normal contracts, these kits and most of them, like pretty much, I would say 99% of them don't sell. There's always worth checking the price. It's always worth it. Um, but yeah, you can see just by opening and like filling up our transfer list, our coins haven't gone down that much. Our coins have gone down by like, 2,000 coins. And we look how many players we put into our club. Do you see what I mean? Like we've only packed once a CSL player at the moment. Um, but the thing is, with this with this method, eventually you'll start to get more and more CSL players that you can put back into your club, so that you can basically create the CSL team. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is, uh, I think we're almost approaching our limit in terms of um, the transfer list. So we've got 95 there. So we're gonna list this up as well. The contracts we're gonna get rid of. Now, a lot of you have an advantage over me because I'm starting this with 20,000 coins. You guys are probably gonna have 50,000 coins, 100,000 coins, 200,000 coins. You guys will have loads of players in your club like I do. I'm not gonna be using any of the players that I have in my club in terms of like the gold players and, and creating. I'm just focusing solely on the CSL. I won't be doing any other league SPC for the time being, just for the, just for the sake of this little mini series that I'm doing. I'm gonna just focus on the CSL, which is why I completed what I had in the club this morning so I can start from the beginning, right? Now, we'll go through the CSL in a second because a lot of you guys may have these cards in your clubs and you may be thinking, I don't know what to do with them, right? So I'll, I'll have a look with you in a second. We're just gonna finish listing everything up. Uh, so this guy was listed up for 200. Most of these cards may sell, some of them won't sell. It doesn't matter if they do, it doesn't matter if they don't. Um, the main thing is that what you want to do is you just want to list them up for the potential. Now, right now, we've got 100 things already. Now, I've got a lot of cards on my club already, as I mentioned. Now, this guy, what I would probably do is this guy's only going for 200 anyway. So, for the time being, I'm going to discard him. I wouldn't recommend you guys discarding him. I would recommend you list him up. Now, we're on 22,000 coins. Now, you can see that the cards we listed up, three of them did sell, which is a squad fitness card. The this card right here, he's a League SBC card. And this card is, a, again, another League SBC card. Now, what the main point of this series is, is to teach you that you can start with nothing and open bronze packs with 20,000 coins, make money at the same time, and also complete a League SBC. Now, let's go on to the squad building section, which is the SBC section. Now, if I go on to players, which is where all the League SBCs are based, um, I'm gonna get rid of these on my favorites at the moment. You can see that I have completed cards. The CSL is completely blank, right? Completely blank. So if I go to the CSL, right? You've got, I think it's 16 teams, if I'm not mistaken, 16 teams with, uh, no, wait, where has it gone? Okay, I'll put it in my favorites, so that's fine. So there we are, the CSL. Now the CSL, 16 teams. What I would personally recommend, this is what I would recommend, once you get five to six to seven cards, if the team is not expensive, complete the team with the coins you have, get the pack back, and that will start building your other league SBCs by itself without you having to purchase the cards. And that's pretty much what you want to do. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to wait for the rest of those things to sell on our transfer list. I'm going to come back in about an hour's time. And we'll open a couple more bronze packs just to get it to 100 because something still haven't. We've still got a couple of um, spaces left. But yeah, as I said, guys, this series is just the main point of this series is to show that you non-believers hopefully turn into some believers, basically, because you can do the league SBC grind where you start from basically bronze packs and go all the way up to building your own league SBCs and then rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Now this series, it isn't gonna come out every single day. I don't know, I think it's gonna be every couple days where I show you what we're doing. Now on the, on the, um, the because this is my main account, we are gonna be doing most of it on stream. Um, and we are gonna be opening bronze packs on stream when things sell and stuff like that. And I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys everything that sells. I won't miss anything out. So if I open bronze packs, you will see it either live on stream or you'll see it on the video. Most likely, you'll see it on the video because I want to show you guys on this particular series everything that I can. 
Obviously, for the point of this series, I know it does get very, very boring. This is a very boring grind. I have to reiterate that. It is boring. It is long. You won't be completing the League SBC in the first day or two. It'll take you a week, maybe a week and a half, to start really getting into it, right? So, currently, we are sat at one. We are sat at 21,000 coins. And we are sat at... Um, we're selling 50 cards on the market, which is basically everything that we pack in Bronze Pack Method. I'm going to come back in an hour. I'm going to see what sells. And then we'll go from there and we'll finish off today's episode. All right, boys. So here we are on the transfer market. As you guys can see, now a Morales has sold, which is, was previously listed. So ignore that for the time being. But what you guys want to be focusing on is the cards that have sold on the transfer market. So look, you can see sometimes random league cards sell. Like this guy's from German 3. We don't know why he sold for 200 coins. But it's always worth listing these cards up because you never know. At the beginning, every single coin matters. So I would list all the cards up ASAP all the time. If they don't sell, everything hasn't sold. You can see from there, everything hasn't sold. But sometimes things will sell. With the bronze pack method, the main thing is when you're starting off, a lot of the cards you won't need. So you won't need anything but CSL. That's what we're going to be focusing on for the time being. So you can see this guy sold. Jimmy Garner sold for 700. This guy from the Polish right back league. He's a right back from the Polish league. Like, why would you need something like that? We know we don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically accept the coins and move on. Saudi League player, of course, sold because he's League SBC. Again, Danish player, we don't know why that's needed. Uh, sometimes cards will just sell and you won't ever know. That contract there sold as well, that manager contract. So it's always worth listing those up for 200 coins as well. Uh, the fitness cards, all both listed for 150. Again, we didn't get lucky that the fitness cards sold for 5k. So unfortunately, we didn't get lucky there. But it doesn't really matter because the cards still sell. When you list up the bronze cards, like I can see that oh, when we go onto our transfer list, a lot of them hasn't sold. The ones that we listed up before, a lot of them hasn't sold. As I said, ignore all these gold cards that I've got in my club. Therefore, just investments that I've put. Um, now, let's go. Yeah, look, look at these cards. So these are the bronze cards that I have not sold as of yet. What we're going to do is we're going to relist them again, wait for them to sell. And in the next episode, you'll see the cards that we're listing and selling, listing and selling, listing and selling. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep it separated from the normal account grinding. So you guys can see the progress that we make throughout this series. As I said, I'll probably be, I'll probably won't edit this out as much. So you guys can take as much information of what I've given you. I know it's a lot to take in for the first time, but it doesn't matter. Start from somewhere and it, you'll trust me, you will make loads and loads of coins from this method. And if you're doing it League SPC wise, you'll start to fill up your club with CSL players. So what we're going to do is we're going to list all these cards up again. Just relist them, constantly relist them. We're going to get rid of this off the trade pile. That gives us trade pile space. Um, these are cards from previous, so don't worry about that. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, why did you keep it on your main account? Because let's say if we do a League SBC and we pack something, I don't want it to be on an account, which I'm never going to use. I would rather it on an account, which I am going to use, and something that's meaningful to me personally. And because also, a lot of you guys do have a lot of cards in your club. You guys do have, you know, you do have an advantage of where you can start. Like, for example, a lot of you guys may have a lot of gold cards in your club. You may go through these other teams. Like, let's go through these other leagues, right? And you guys may have the advantage of completing some of these other teams now if you do i'm not saying don't do that you can still do that because you're basically at a higher stage like you're on a further down the line stage what i'm trying to do is for those guys who don't really know what method just start off with the csl start off with the csl work towards that so the main thing i want you to take from this episode if you're starting from beginning open your bronze packs list every single card right for 200 coins every player Keep the CSL players, right? Squad fitnesses, get rid of. Manager contracts, get rid of. And uh, fitness cards, get rid of as well. List them with the 150, max 5k buy now. Because if a web app buyer buys the 5k by accident, you'll be making a lot of coins. So hopefully you guys got a grasp of what we're going to be doing. The main aspect of like the first few episodes is opening bronze packs. It is a long grind. It is going to take time. It, it, you do have to be patient, okay? You're not going to be making... Um, millions of coins and you're not going to be completing loads of SBCs straight away. It doesn't work like that. What we're trying to do is we're trying to build up the CSL as much as we can and then when we start to complete our first team, we can go through to other SBCs that we can complete and do things like that. 
as I said, a lot of you guys do have advantages of um, having a lot of players in the club already, having more coins than what I'm starting with. I started this with 20, like 22,000 coins or something like that. Our coin balance now is 226,000. If you take off the Morales with the tax, it's uh, you're looking at what, 25,000? If we take that off, or 24,000 and a half. So yeah, just take that in mind. I hope this guys, I hope this episode really helped you guys. As I said, it's a grind, it's a long one. Bronze Pack Method is basically the foundation of everything, um, which is why it's a very important thing that we have to go through because if you don't do Bronze Pack Method, you won't build bronze cards to silver cards to gold cards, and that way you won't build your club up from that bottom foundation, and you won't be able to complete those cards, and like you won't be able to complete the CSL. Now, as I said, I hope I didn't repeat things too much. I will try and keep it unedited as much as possible. If I find myself, I am repeating a lot, then I will cut parts out. So I'd want to try and keep everything in there because I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, you're editing so much out and we're not really getting the essence. So hopefully you guys grasp this idea. Open your bronze packs, sell everything that sells for the time being, fill up your trade pile uh, until, until you can. If you don't have coins left, wait for everything to sell. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And what we'll do is I want you guys, any questions that you have on this method, Please leave it in the comments below. I will reply to every single comment. What I'll try and do is to make it more fun and entertaining and more engaging for you guys. If I take some of your comments from below, I'll take them and put them into the next episode. So make sure you leave your comments. Very important. And that way we can have more fun. And like instead of me opening bronze packs or while I'm opening bronze packs, I can answer your questions properly and give you a better idea of what you need to do. So if you did enjoy this video, smash the like on it and subscribe to the channel. Join Team Boozer. Turn the bell on so you never miss an upload. We are going to be doing a 5k giveaway, guys. So you need to get me to 5,000 subscribers ASAP because you guys are going to be the ones who are winning from that. We're going to be doing loads of FIFA point giveaways as team of the season is coming. I'm going to be doing FIFA point giveaways for you lot. So make sure you subscribe. Turn the bell on so you never miss an upload and you don't miss the giveaway upload. I'll probably be doing one this week. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. But I will probably be doing one this week for team of the season. It's exciting times for all of us because team of the season is coming. So obviously, I know you guys will want to want be opening packs and all that good stuff. So yeah, man, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love all of you. Take care. Stay safe from the whole coronavirus thing. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and Snapchat, my socials will be down below. If you have any internal questions that you don't want to leave on a video and you want to ask me internally, ask me on there. I'll reply on any of my socials, man. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. This will be going out 6 p.m. on the Sunday. This is the only video that's going to be going out. I'm not going to be live streaming today. I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow, Monday, 5.30. And also, you will see a sniping daily episode back on Monday as well. So make sure you look for that because I know you guys have been loving that. Thank you so much for the support on that. You guys have been absolutely insane. I'll catch you guys in the next one anyway. So yeah, stay safe, take care. Boozer and all that good stuff. I've been your boy and I hope you enjoyed and we out. Peace.